riding on me, that's a no go. Trip crop, kick your dope. What's good, everybody? What's good? It's your boy, 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 Cardinal Bud Crawford. <laughs> or E.S. Red, if that's what you want to call me. And we are back for another one. Alright, y'all, it's hot. Oh, my God, it's hot. New topic, though, new topic. Garbage man. Terrence Crawford threatens... To walk away from Earl Spence Jr. Super fight. Huh. So. Oh boy, it's hot. <laughs> so it's been, a, it's been a lot of news surrounding this fight. That come out the past two days. We had an agreement. And then we had a, a disagreement the next day. <laughs> so. You know, I, 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 at this point, at this point, um, a lot of different channels are reporting a lot of different things. Uh, a lot of different news sources are saying a lot of different things. And me personally, you know, from the from the beginning of of, of when every when the news broke, the Spence sent the contract out. I I've been saying I don't think it's gonna happen until 23. And the reasons for that, I, I just, I don't feel like there's enough money to make the fight. Not that, not that there's not enough money for both fighters involved in what they're trying to negotiate at the moment, but there's not enough money overall to make the fight. Meaning that Terrence Crawford wants a certain, a certain price range for his talent. Uh, he feels like he's a champion. He feel, feels like he deserves more for um, his accomplishments as a welterweight. Uh, I'm of the I'm of the understanding that he who does the heavy lifting reaps the rewards. He who does the heavy lifting reaps the rewards. Earl Spence Jr. went out and decided to get it the hard way. He could have easily said, you know what, I'll just wait around for Terrence Crawford to collect all those titles. And then I'll go challenge him and get a big bag of money. But I feel like Earl Spence, and I, this is why I'm riding with Spence, because he is sticking to his guns. No matter what, he's sticking to his guns and he understands his position. Um... Now I know Mayweather favors Terrence Crawford for some odd reason over the fighter he's actually backing financially, which is awkward. You know, he he's a PBC affiliate. I'm pretty sure he has some type of stock in PBC, but I I don't understand the beef between him and Earl Spence Jr. and why uh, Mayweather's deciding to 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 side with. Uh, Mayweather uh, with Terrence Crawford, excuse me, because you know Earl Spence. It seems like is riding that Mayweather. Um, he's riding that Mayweather formula, which is, and he's doing it the right way though. Like I said before, Mayweather did it to where he was basing it all off his pay-per-view numbers. Uh, Earl Spence is doing it to where he did all the heavy lifting in the boxing ring. He beat all champions. He got three title belts. He deserves a high portion of any fight that he's in. Whether it's against Terrence Crawford. Whether it's against Boots. Whether it's against uh, uh, anybody who's challenging him as a welterweight. is going to have to give up a high percentage of the purse to Earl Spence Jr. Uh, and that that's that's very very deserving and and you know for Terrence Crawford to walk away from this fight it would say a lot about Terrence Crawford you know I've been saying from from the beginning that his talent was built up a certain way and 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 I don't think the talent he's talented but I don't think the talent is as big as the hype is and I think perhaps Terrence Crawford is starting to see that now perhaps Terrence Crawford understands 
that a lot is at risk if he loses this fight. You know, what does he stand to lose if he loses even just the first one, even if there's a rematch clause? And is the rematch clause what's keeping this fight from happening? What, what would you guys think if he didn't sign off of this fight because he didn't get a rematch clause? Would you say that that's confidence or would you say that that is fear? Uh, because I would, I would say... I would say it's a little bit of both, but probably more fear than confidence. But, you know, for Terrence Crawford to price himself out of this fight, I think... Listen, I, I think that he understands his position now. Now that there's no longer Bob Arum to blame for why the fight isn't, isn't actually going down... Uh, now that there is no more, uh, where I got to cross the street and deal with another promotional company. Now that there is no more, I've never been offered a contract. Uh, he can only rest on his talent at this point. <laughs> and for him to, even if the, even if the split was 85-15 or 80-20, that's a good split. To me, that's a good split for Terrence Crawford, being that he doesn't have a promotional company to pay. You know, they're not taking a portion of the money. Let's just say there's 60, 70 million dollars being put up for this fight. And, you know, Spence would get, you know, like 30, Crawford would get like 15, maybe 20. You know, that's a good purse for him. You know, that's a heck of a, a big purse for him. You know, they were out offering him 10 for the Pacquiao fight. Uh, so, you know, for him to get $20 million and, and for him to not have really done anything to deserve that $20 million. And what I mean by that is that he beat some decent fighters. He beat Sean Porter, but he wasn't in his prime. He beat... Kel Brook, who wasn't in his prime. He beat Amir Khan, who wasn't in his prime. But Earl Spence beat those guys in their prime and for title belts. I don't understand why people don't get that. You know, and this, this is the reason he's worth so much. Not only the fact that he has the titles, that should be a no-brainer right there. But, but I think that, that that's the Mayweather effect on boxing, is he made titles irrelevant. So now people seriously believe that when you have these titles, they don't mean anything. But, you know, he did all the heavy lifting. He went out and beat not only uh, prime fighters, but prime fighters holding title belts. And it's a shame that not only Terrence Crawford doesn't seem to understand, and he's a professional fighter, that he's, no matter how much Bob Earn built you up, and no matter how much money Bob Earn decided to pay you, that was in-house fighting. That was in-house contracts. Those were in-house. Those were things that were done in-house for you because Bob Arum had the money to, to pay you that. Uh, now you're in a situation where you're having to deal with a promotional company by yourself and with and as an independent. Now you should understand that independent money outweighs contract money. Uh, or or promotional money every day of the week. So whatever you get as an independent is going to be worth in the cash out process 10 to 20 times more than if you had a promoter because they're going to be taking 10 to 20 percent of your purse anyway. So I don't. The only thing I can think of at this point, why he's not signing, why he would walk away, is that he realizes that the talent doesn't match the hype and this is something I've been saying for a while the talent don't match the hype Bob Arum's hype train for Terrence Crawford was so good and people people believed it so much that now Terrence Crawford is buying into his own hype you're a one-time title holder challenging a three-time title holder or a three belt title holder you know, a one belt title holder challenging a three belt title holder, and the three and the one belt title hold, holder is making it seem like he's worth more than the three belt title holder. And it's crazy because even with all of Terrence Crawford's accomplishments, the uh, 
the undisputed at 130, the, the you know, the uh, unified titles at the lower weight classes. He's still not as popular as Earl Spence Jr. <laughs> Go figure. You would think that somebody who accomplished that, even at a lower weight class, okay, it's not against the bigger punchers or the, the stronger guys, but it's against top tier competition, that a fighter of that caliber would be of a Manny Pacquiao stat status because you know the, that's close you know Manny Pacquiao did some similar things down in those lower weight classes and then when he got up to welterweight he showed and proved he didn't just fight one or two over the hill guys you know this is a guy who uh, who stopped Oscar De La Hoya this is a guy who stopped Margarito this is the guy who stopped Cotto this is you know this is the guy who uh who stopped Mosley in his track this is the guy who floored Ricky Hatton uh <laughs> and I could go on and on and on and, and it's crazy because you know that's just that's those are five credible fights that I just named off for you and those guys was were either the you know, Oscar wasn't in his prime but the rest of those guys were all in their prime or better. Uh, and, and Terrence Crawford has fought three over-the-heel fighters and Jeff Horn. <laughs> and this is, this is, you know, and he's still not popular because of that. And, you know, for, his, for him not to see that, for his fans not to see that, it says a lot about Terrence Crawford. Now, now remember what I just said. This is the, Oscar, Mosley... Uh, Hatton, Cotto, and Margarito. Would Terrence Crawford be able to do anything with any of those fighters? You know, would would he have? You know, and and I bring that up because for him, he he's demanding something that a fighter of a Manny Pacquiao status should be demanding. Someone who was in there with, with nothing but legends for years and years and years. And legends either right after their prime or in their prime. Not over the hill fighters. And not just three of them. I can name you five or more just in the welterweight division that Manny Pacquiao took on and demolished. And demolished. And, you know, Terrence Crawford hasn't accomplished half of that. And at least Earl Spence did beat champions uh, in their prime holding title belts. So, you know, I, I respect him a lot more than I do Terrence Crawford because Terrence Crawford seems to be unwilling to challenge himself. Uh, I think I'm going to leave it there for now. That's enough rambling. It's your boy, 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 Cardinal Bud Crawford or E.S. Red, if that's what you want to call me. Hit that like button for me. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Share, share, share. Holler at me on all the social media platforms. Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. More than likely to get a response on the tube than any other platform. What do y'all think about that, man? Should, should, should Terrence Crawford walk away from this fight based off the money? Or should Earl Spence say, you know what? Fuck you, man. <laughs> Up you get out of her. I got better things to do. You're a nobody. You really proved nothing as a welterweight. Let me know what y'all think. Yeah, I think we out of here for now. It's your boy, 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 Cardinal Red, and we are not in. Look now, gonna die. Nick, stop all this shit. <laughs>